Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the next match, Cross Balanced Cup. So first match here in Group C, we have a returning um, candidate, maybe for the, the title, at least for the upper part. It's going to take on a newer deck in this year's Cross Balanced Cup. I think this is the first one. Satana Lights has already been featured. I believe it was uh, a couple of years ago, the list of... Um, hmm. Oh, what's the name again of the uh, you know the, the world champion from a couple of years ago was used um, but that wasn't this particular list so this particular list is a bit more different so the first one is um, I, I think a familiar face with the uh, winner of the European Championship back in uh, what was it 2013 prime spellbooks format is going to take on this particular list so holy tellars uh, OCG list first place was it one of the Asia championships back uh, in 2014 so about a year after the spellbook deck list and seeing from the votes the people still see that spellbooks should have the advantage over um, satellites holy tellars star seraph uh, satellites um Hmm. For me, that was a bit awkward seeing, and you know, solely based on both deck lists, seeing that a deck like Delars, a deck that has, has some consistency, not that much, but has some consistency of putting up Shockmaster with, you know, some ease, and Shockmaster calling spells against spell books, you know, you know that that's superb, that's ridiculous. Um, the thing is, is that it kind of could suffer consistency, but then again, Spellbooks is maybe a bit more consistent. Uh, simply, well, an easy reason for that is, is that Spellbooks 2013, so that's still a deck that has the capability to open with six cards. And, um, you know, for a deck that's somewhat based on comboing, as in you need Spellbook of Judgment, you need Blue Boy and or Secrets, and maybe even another spellbook spell for master, so you get the point, right? That sixth card definitely helps out, and I guess kind of increases the consistency of the deck of putting out Yogan as well with protection. Um, and this is where I guess the um, the the deck list from the European Champion back then was it someone from Greece? Oh, I have no clue. I think so. He, uh, he main decked the traps, as in, what, what was it, one mirror force, I think, one or two wing blasts, I mean, basically extra protection to protect the Ogun. that was basically the strategy of spellbooks back then. Um, so this should be my duel. I mean, going first with spellbooks and being able to, what was it, get Yogan out, so at least three or more searches during the end phase, that should be game against basically any deck, almost any deck. And... Um, all right, the thing with the uh, with this particular deck list, the, the Satellanites, you know, main deck in the Star Seraph engine, the, the fact that the deck has the capability to play triple soul charge is kind of disgusting. It can bump out what is a Deltro Shockmaster with ease, but I guess you're kind of sacrificing some consistency because you're running, what, what is it, three stick and double chair. This particular, you know, list ran two of the chairs. But the deck has access to Laval Val Chain, Digusta Emerald, uh, Excite and Knight, the, I mean, the strongest rank 4 exceeds ever in this game's history. So, with double Star Hall, this should be a lock up, right? Um, I don't think I need to fear Mirror Force, just, I mean, it doesn't really matter because, again, I have what, what, what is it? Wisdom? Is it Wisdom? Yeah, Wisdom that protects Yogan from what is it? Spells or traps. So game number three, and I see my opening hand, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely a solid opening hand, but I need spell local judgment. So I uh, double blue boy is not 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 good, because again, you know, both normal summons in the opening hand kind of hurts, because again, you want those multiple card combos with spell local judgment plus a couple of spells. And uh, Blue Boy gets failure, so that's one less card. So technically, I'm playing with four cards, and that could be problematic. Um, and that was the case, so I flat out pass. I didn't really see an option, because again, Spellbook of Master wasn't able to activate. I think it can copy only, uh, what is it, normal Spellbook spells? I think so. And Secrets was already used. And uh, yeah, Fate is a quick play, so again, setting Fate, I don't think... <sighs> Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, the thing is, is that you're not popping the field spell if there's one set. You're off, you're going after the one set with your, um, you know, Star Seraph combo, and that's kind of disgusting. The deck has access to a Laval Val Chain, sending Breakthrough skill, which is again a huge, huge out for Yogan. During, during, it's technically a double monster negation, right? Especially the graveyard effect that could come in clutch in case of Yogan. 
So game number four, Spellbooks again going first. And this is definitely an okay-ish opening hand. I, I search for in the end phase, so that gets me thinking. I should not have, like in hindsight, should not have activated the Wisdom. Um, maybe I thought I was only uh, on two spells activated? Might have been the case. So anyway, the priority and again, you know, protect the castle, protect Yogan, but I get anti-spell on both players actually. And uh, that's going to slow down the game by a lot. Problem, uh, I can't special summon. Both players cannot special summon, so I can't go for a bigger rank 2 exceed. So it's just um, blue boy beat town and keep Yogan in defense and then basically again, play the same strategy as always, protect Yogan. Uh, problem, all oh, right, yeah, no traps, and I believe fate was my only option here, but again, anti-spell prevents that. So I, 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 I uh, lose Yogan, but I think I have a spellbook of life in the uh, set, so I could potentially reborn it. Let me think, yeah, protecting blue boy for what is it, the breakthrough skill? Ah, but there is breakthrough skill set, so I'm not sure, oh, no, no, no. The um, spellbook of life needs to banish a spellcaster from graveyard, and then you can reborn another spellcaster from grave. And then what, what is it, gain the levels of the banished spellcaster, but there wasn't a spellcaster in grave. So detach off of Elf. Elf is okay. I guess it lowers the attack of a, a stronger monster from your opponent by, what is it, 500, I think. So that's decent-ish. But I think here is the opportunity to go for Yogan. Flip over the field spell. In, in this slow-paced duel with anti-spell phase up, this should put me in like a winning position, especially with the field spell giving me two draws each turn. Mirror Force on Thunder King again opens up uh, you know, those potential searches during my turn. But again, you know, the anti-spell does hurt a little bit, but um, I mean, this should be my dual shining. What is it? Shining Elf attacks, it goes in for some damage, and this eventually, yeah, scoop face, whatever, you know, those double draws definitely hurts. So again, number five, and Telonites, that's not the best opening. Again, a chair in hand, no stick. I mean, they aren't really searchable. The Book of Moon also comes in clutch, putting Blue Boy face down. So that lets me, uh, that gives me another search problem. Um, hmm. Okay, oh, there was no spell look at Judgment, but all right. That's why Book of Moon was so powerful back then. Interrupting an exceed play, plus putting Blue Boy face down again. Let your opponent attack into it or let it flip face over, flip, uh, flip face up. You get another search. And yeah, um, what is the High Priestess? Um, as it was probably going to come in clutch in game number four as well. Um, it's going clutch in here. So drop it to the field, not risking anything like Typhoon, one of the sets, and then what is it? Destroy Call of the Haunted? I think so. And uh, I kept in rivalry because, again, the huge variety of potential exceeds. Uh, you know, prevent them from going for stronger exceeds like, what is it? Excite the Night? I don't think it's Excite the Night. Is, a war is it a warrior? No, it's. Is it in Insect? I don't know. I should check that. But, again, rivalry, it kind of keeps me in the duel. And, well, then again, there isn't really a rank 4 exceed play ready wide, so use judgment. And this should be more than enough. So flip over Blue Boy again, get another search. And uh, did I already use my normal summon? I should probably get the Yogan out as soon as possible. Drawing Yogan definitely hurts a little bit. Uh, okay, I still have my normal summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should be game. No, is this game? This should. Yeah, yeah, should be game. More than enough again. So, okay, Spellbooks takes this one over Holy Tellars, even though Tellars was the more recent thing, but only, you know, two, um, what was it, two, uh, well, well, one year difference. So, next matchup we have Clownblade versus Fire King Cosmo. Feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.